Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Welcome to Money Talks UAE. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about Japan e visa. This is gonna be an update from my previous videos. I did already show you guys how to apply for a Japan e visa. Everything is online. It's easy, simple. You just have to do everything correctly. If you still didn't watch that video, please do so if you want to apply for a Japan e visa. And this video, I'm gonna give you an update about my own application. How long does it take and the procedures that they are telling you to do and all of that stuff I'm gonna discuss in this video. So if you are interested in that, make sure to watch the video until the end. Also, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, support the channel. It's gonna be a really, really big help for the channel and the YouTube algorithm. All right, so uh, now let's talk about Japan e-visa, guys. It's, it's really easy to apply and uh, once you do so, you will notice that the time, the processing time is really long. It's not that easy. They said five, it takes five days to process your uh, visa application, but in my case, it took more than that. It took approximately around three to four weeks, okay? So the first thing you will notice when you just apply to the visa, you will see a uh, you will receive an email from them telling you that they receive your application and it's gonna be uh, shown in the website as temporary received. Okay, what does it mean temporary received? It means that they receive your application but they still didn't review it. They still didn't see your documents. They didn't read itinerary. They didn't see how long you're gonna stay in Japan and all of that stuff. Okay, so they just receive it and you are actually waiting for the next step so technically this step means that you are waiting in line for another people to get the visa because they applied before you and they're waiting as well so you're just waiting in line and that's actually the longest waiting period okay because once you're gonna done with that it's gonna be really fast and quick afterward okay so this uh, temporary received status stayed for like two weeks for me okay two to three weeks uh, it took a long time and I was really like questioning what's going on but it's really taking time and maybe because I applied during summer and a lot of people are traveling in summer you know summer is a holiday vacation and you can name it whatever you want but people travel a lot during summer and maybe a lot of people apply to the e-visa as well so that's why it took me around three weeks to wait for the next status which is gonna be under examination. So they will send you an email uh, telling you that you are uh, being examined. Now they are checking your documents. They're seeing what's going on in the documents. Are you eligible to get the visa or no? They are trying to find any uh, problem with your documents so that they will either refuse it or they will go to the next step, okay? That took me around three days, I believe. It was really quick. Uh, they examined my file really quickly. And after three days, they will send you another email telling you that you need to pay for the visa, okay? They don't tell you that you got successful or your visa is approved or anything. So they will just tell you that you need to pay the fee for the visa. And in my case, it was around 80 AED, 80 dirhams. So uh, approximately 3000 Japanese yen. And you have to pay that either by a credit card or you have to pay it cash, okay? You have to go to Japan overseas office in Dubai and, or even in Abu Dhabi and pay in cash because they don't accept debit card, guys, okay? So they accept only credit cards. And it doesn't matter if it's under your name or your friend's credit card or your father, or your family member, it doesn't matter. But it must be a credit card, okay? So after you pay the uh, the visa fee, they will not actually deduct the full amount. They will just hold your credit card and after two days, they will deduct the uh, amount, okay, which is 80 dirham. And that depends on the nationalities because some people, they are not requiring to pay for this visa. Some people, they pay even less, like 20 dirhams or 30 dirhams. So it depends on your nationality as well. And after three days, you receive an email telling you, uh, congratulations, you got your e-visa and you can access the website and download the PDF file 
for your visa this is very important you have to take it with you when you are traveling to japan okay so this is all about the visa application process it's really easy it's just frustrating when you start waiting for a long period of time and that's why i receive a lot of questions a lot of comments in youtube telling me about why they are waiting for so long for this visa because they said that it's gonna take only five days but it takes weeks for some people to process the visa so there you go guys just be patient because once the status is still showing temporary received or under examination it means you are not disqualified they are still just checking for your files and your documentations because once they will refuse the visa application they will send you an email a refusal email showing that they are actually uh, refusing the visa application all right so that's pretty much it guys i hope you got some uh, information from this video just be patient wait for that visa to come and hopefully you're gonna get it as soon as possible and make sure that the traveling dates also are not really close and tight because that's gonna make it even difficult and makes you also uh, feeling a bit nervous and stressful so you don't have to do that just try to apply as earliest as possible maybe like three months ahead of the schedule so that will give you a good time to wait for that visa to come all right so any question guys you can just write me here in youtube just comment your questions or just write me in my instagram page i always put my instagram page in all my videos or even in the descriptions below so if you have any questions just follow me and send me a direct message and i will answer you as soon as possible thank you very much guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video